Are there craters, volcanoes, mountains, oceans, life? And as optical telescopes got bigger, that's all anybody could see. A disk with no details on it at all. Venus evidently was covered with an opaque layer, thick clouds concealing the surface. As a result, imagination ran riot. The absence of anything you could see on Venus led some scientists and others to deduce that the surface was a swamp. I can't see a thing on the surface of Venus. Why not? Because it's covered with a dense layer of clouds. Well, what are clouds made of? Water, of course. Therefore, Venus must have an awful lot of water on it. Therefore, the surface must be wet. Well, if the surface is wet, it's probably a swamp. If there's a swamp, there's ferns. If there's ferns, maybe there's even dinosaurs. Observation, you couldn't see a thing. Conclusion, dinosaurs. And when, in 1956, Venus was for the first time observed by a radio telescope, the planet was discovered to be emitting radio waves as if it were at an extremely high temperature. But the real demonstration that the surface of Venus was astonishingly hot came when the first spacecraft penetrated the obscuring clouds of Venus and slowly settled on the surface of the nearest planet. And the clouds turn out to be not water, but a concentrated solution of sulfuric acid. Even in the high clouds, Venus is a thoroughly nasty place. Clouds are stained yellow by sulfur. The pressures become so high that early Venera spacecraft were crushed like old tin cans by the weight of the surrounding atmosphere. The temperature is 380 degrees centigrade, 900 Fahrenheit, hotter than the hottest household oven. This is a world marked by searing heat, crushing pressures, sulfurous gases, and a desolate, reddish landscape. Venus is the one place in the solar system most like hell. 